So guys, we're gonna start out this video by saving this fish. Got a fish right here. So you wanna explain a little bit what happened here? Yeah, so I went to the gym and I got there and everyone's like talking about this clownfish in a bag that someone thought it was a good idea to dress up as the girl, little girl, the shaking the bag girl from Finding Nemo and just go not to a pet store. What? Which is not a bad costume. Not a bad costume. The problem is you use a fake clownfish. This bitch had this freaking poor thing in his bag for like hours, you know what I mean? And now it's like obviously low on oxygen. They dropped the bag, so like it has a leak in it and stuff it's like that. It's like, not doesn't have that much air in it. Yeah, the fish is it, like at the bottom. This thing- They didn't know what they were gonna do. Might though. not live. Well, I don't think they like, that person knew that it was like a saltwater fish because they were just talking about like t like putting it in a canal or something. And I'm like, you could the, the best the best thing you could do for this thing would be to go put it in the ocean, I, and even then it's kind of bad to do. Yeah, the thing is it's weak, so it's like immediately gonna get eaten by something. Yeah. So like, which is part of nature and plan, which would have been fine, but also Jack has a hundred fifty gallon fish tank. No, he we we're gonna put this with the other clownfish. No, he told me to put it in the big tank. Did he? Yeah, I think because okay. like I think the other clownfish are way bigger than this guy. They're gonna fuck him up. Oh, okay. Yeah, we want to put him in the other because I'm pretty sure all of all the mm, there's no there's aggressive a, fish in the big tank, is yes, there? Yes, there is. Who? The other big clownfish. Really? Yeah. It's like it's a, not, not aggressive though. Is he? Yeah, it is. He stabs that too. Oh yeah, but that's because you're. Uh... So we're gonna go. We're gonna go help this fish. We're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna putz around and do some other stuff, and you know, just do a normal day at the shop. And save a fish. And save a fish. So I would have probably just killed this fish immediately because I thought you could just dump fish in the fish oh. tanks, but I guess you can't do that, especially like this saltwater tank. So Roberto said you gotta acclimate them, so you put them in here and you let them sit in there for a little while. Ten, and then you, ten minutes usually is enough. And you just you see what temperatures. You want it to slowly change. get yeah to slowly feel the temperature change, not immediately. I think it's like five degrees, and the fish feels like a five degree change in temperature too quickly. It like freaks out. And either will die from like physical shock or die from just like the stress. So this guy almost literally just died in a second ago though, because he kind of did the whole floating and then. Just oh, he's had a rough day, dude. Just, he might not survive. There, there's. I'm not. Oh wait, I think to verify, did Jack tell me to put him in the big tank? So. We're, we're seeing if Jack said to put it in the big tank, but. Either way, I mean this. We'll we'll see. Temperature. Back in the bag, and he's there. He is. Yeah, he just wants to go up to the top, though. Yeah, he's probably freaking finally breathe. I'll be okay. We'll see very quickly. Yeah, keep an eye on him. What's happening, guys? Today is another day down here. Um, it's super late, actually. It's like past five o'clock. I didn't really film. I haven't really been filming all that much because I'm sick, guys. Like, I I've skipped a couple days. Um, Halloween and stuff like that, going out with friends and doing some stuff like that. Plus, I've been sick for like a week. I mean, if I had gone to bed at normal times, I guess I probably could have got a lot better, a lot faster, but I don't, so that's whatever. But this thing will start today. This is the Gray Z. This has been here for a very long time, but as you can see, there's no more motor around. It's actually back in the car. Uh, the motor is in. It's almost all wired up. I just... Before I just left, I did the oil pan again. I put the um, adapter like spacer in it so that the pickup tube would be lower in the oil pan and actually pick up the oil. Um, when I finish eating, I think I'm going to get the um, oil cooler started to ran, run it back here. Sadly, I have to take this off, so it's gonna set me back a little bit, but we're gonna get this, the oil cooler on and um, do that and then we can go ahead and figure out what's going on over here with our clutch the clutch is actually right here so we got to pop this little tab right here off and get the actual adapter piece that goes into it on and just button up some more stuff on this thing so that we can continue working on this thing and get it started tonight because that is the goal i have plans for later on tonight to go to another party for like Halloween, the last one. And then 
Um, but before that, this thing needs to run and needs to start. So that's what's going on with this thing. I'm gonna cut it really quick and we'll go outside and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to the freestyle, um, either to either, probably tomorrow. And the BMW is actually down. It's not down, but it's like broken. So over the weekend, I was, um, these guys in his, in his G37 was coming up behind me and like they flew by me. So I was like, hell no. I'm not gonna let these guys try to show me up right now. So what had happened was I went a little too fast and uh, um, I downshifted too much and then I blew out one of the gaskets on my exhaust. So my exhaust leaks now and it sucks. So here we are outside. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of the sound of what this thing is, but it just sounds absolutely horrible. I hate it. I don't, I don't like it at all, but. So you can hear the, the, the exhaust fumes coming out somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's the little donut gasket right at the front where the, for the, um, cats meet the rest of the exhaust so I have to fix that and then I'm just gonna do an oil change on a BMW I'll do all that stuff tomorrow along with something on the freestyle so that's just going on with that I'm gonna get here a lot earlier tomorrow let's hope and we can actually get a lot of stuff done tomorrow because tomorrow's Thursday and this gray Z actually has to be leaving like at the end of the week so yeah got a lot of stuff to do on the other hand, let's go ahead and eat really quick and then we'll jump back into the Z. Okay guys, so what we got here is we have the, we have the oil cooler right here. We have the fittings right here. And we have the line right behind it. All of this has to go into here. Um, I have to take out the intercooler still. Kind of sucks, but okay. Um, the intercooler is going to just slide out through the bottom, then we can put everything behind it, and then we can put the intercooler back up in. This should all be a flush fit right behind the intercooler, because if you look really carefully, there is actually a lot of space behind the intercooler. So, this is going to go back there. Um, I have it assembled almost fully, so the, it comes just with this. You have to install this bracket, which is a couple of Allen keys on the side with the rubber tabs in between to keep it from vibrating. And you have this one up here with a couple 10 millimeters with a couple rubber stops underneath to keep it from vibrating. I don't really trust any of these things, any of these um, fittings that they send with it, especially the little O-rings that go on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab just a little bit of red Nissan RTV onto here and uh, put these into the top of the oil cooler. <clears throat> and then we will drop this out and we'll be right back after that. So guys, as you saw, it took a couple minutes to put this thing together right here. Now we have to get this thing mounted into here. Um, I believe that they go right here, one and two, and then the, the, the bolt goes somewhere around, like up here somewhere. So that's how this thing is gonna go in. We're gonna get this thing kind of mocked up and put on the lines, which are right there. And then we should be ready to go almost with this thing getting back in the car. So let's keep going on this thing. Doing stuff like this, Putting in this simple oil cooler never goes as simple as it should be. Um, ran into some snags. The owner has put on a bigger radiator and AC condenser. I'm gonna keep checking my phone because I'm at 1%. So he put on a bigger AC condenser and radiator so it hasn't sat right on this thing. So what's going on is I had to make custom brackets for it and uh, that's what this is. This custom bracket goes from here to the intercooler and then it mounts to there so that that holds it in place. We have to move this off of the intercooler, which this is the power steering cooler. It's actually gonna back into its stock spot, which is right here. And um, the lines have to be ran a different way. They want you to run them right here, actually where the intercooler piping is. So I'm gonna have to figure out another place to put them. 
Maybe I can fit them up on the top or maybe I can fit them into here um, and then run them this way along the top. So guys, that's about it for the video. My phone just died, so that's why that video, that little clip just cut real quick. But if you guys stayed all the way to the end, hope you guys did because sometimes there's some good stuff. And um, yeah, tomorrow's video will definitely be a lot better. I'll have some other stuff going on. I'll probably fix the BMW. Um, and uh, I should be feeling a lot better because I'm going to go basically upstairs and just go to bed. So, yeah. Um, today's, this whole week has been kind of like off. So let's hope that the rest of the week goes pretty well. So guys, I am going to just cut it right now, end it. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share, do all the good stuff. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Fish should still be alive. Later.